Hey, Tracy Lewis from Stuff and Things. I am finishing up my October Stamp and Hop Blog Hop project, and the theme for the month is I need to case my own card. So I picked a card that already has a video on the process, and I will link the video at the end of this video. And what I talked about in the video is the three layers and how best to put the layers together for this particular die cut for Beauty Abounds. And I just received my winter order that includes a pre-order for a limited edition Christmas suite that had two really pretty gold elements that I bought. I wasn't going to do gold this year, but I haven't used gold for the holidays in many years, which I already talked about in the unpacking video. And so I was looking at this card, wanting everybody to see all the colors, and thought that these two elements that I just bought would be, at least one of them will work. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the other, and I'll show you in a second. But this particular project, my husband likes very bright colors, and he thought that the card that I had already done, which has already been sent away, so I'll put a picture of it at the end of this video, wasn't blingy enough. Of all the crazy things, my husband loves bright colors and bling. So this is as bright as I could come up with, and I again used the gold, because I just got gold foil and the gold glimmer to use for the holidays. And so I want to share, this is like a sneak peek, these are the faceted gold dots, and then I bought the gold shimmer ribbon. I'm not sure that I will use the gold ribbon, but I definitely want to use the these gold dots. And what I didn't know is that they started out with a really small size. The normal glitter dots that they have, which are close by, I'll show them to you here. Come like this so they don't go as small and I think it'll be of course it doesn't go as big either but I think that these are going to be really pretty for holiday cards that I want to do in the gold and I thought it would be fun to go ahead and use these on this card They're very smooth and hard to pick up. Nope, I want the bigger size. One of my favorite types of projects that I love to do are very elaborate die cut projects and historically Stampin Up didn't have the really detailed die cuts and boy they the dies that they put together now are so elaborate and come with so many like I was shocked when I opened this butterfly die set at how many dies you actually get and I just got the, the stars and they're the exact same thing so many stars I showed my husband and he's like wow you're like you're gonna never run out of things to do with that many star dies all right so there's the big butterfly and I thought it would be fun to use these little ones And then when I do these elaborate many layers of dies, I do use mono glue as a, I think I'm, in the video you'll see that I talk about using the glue over any other adhesive means. And then my fingers aren't the best. They, and so it's always a challenge when I put all these layers together that I'm very, very slow. But I think that this is my most... Um, 
I guess it's good uh, therapy for me. It's calming and relaxing, just like coloring this is. So there I've got the big one, and I've got that guy. And I think this one I'm just going to put one. So I find doing the elaborate die cuts very soothing and relaxing. And then I think... Two up here for this guy. that concludes my stamp and hop case project so the main things I changed on this card I used the same layered leaves different colors this is the layered leaves embossing folder same three layers same layout for the butterflies different colors I added the heart changed the sentiment from a square and happy spring to a matching color. I changed from white to using the yellow instead of white and then I used vellum for these sprigs and then the new the new pearls. They're called gold glitter enamel dots. They will be available on 11-1. I hope you enjoyed this project and seeing the sneak peek and be sure to watch the video on how I do my three layers for the butterflies and thanks for watching.